Hello everyone. Welcome back to my organic chemistry mini lecture. Uh, today our topic will be the hydrate and the acetal, and uh, we will talk about uh, a very very important strategy in organic synthesis. That's protection and deprotection using the acetal. Okay, before we talk about acetal, we can talk about the hydrate first. So this is a very similar reaction. And uh, we can see the reactant. Uh, I use an aldehyde. Uh, this is uh, ethanol, but the acetone or ketones actually also works. Okay, so I use the example of aldehyde. And uh, we need an acid as a catalyst, and uh, water is the other reactant. And the uh, product is called a hydrate. You can look at the structure of a hydrate. It's actually is a germinal diol. So two hydroxyl group is on the same carbon. Let's look at the arrow pushing mechanism. First step is the protonation. So we have the proton from the acid and we have the aldehyde. The oxygen is nucleophilic. Uh, it will attack the proton to form protonated intermediate. And uh, this step actually activates this carbonyl group. This carbon will be more electrophilic because it will have more positive charge. So the water will be the nucleophile. The oxygen will attack this carbon, push the pi electron to this oxygen to neutralize the positive charge. So this is a nucleophilic addition. And then the intermediate is actually a tetrahedral intermediate. And then next step will be the water act as a base. So sometimes you can just write a base. And then depronate the proton, push the sigma electron to the oxygen to neutralize the positive charge. And then the product is the hydrate. So it's a three-step mechanism, and uh, the acetal works very similar. Okay, let's look at the second page. Acetal, the structure is very similar to hydrate. Only difference, this is not hydroxyl group. Now it's alkoxyl group. You have two alkoxyl group connected with the same carbon. And here, the example, I use a ketone. Here, this is acetone. React with alcohol is the other reactant, not water anymore here. Water is actually one of the product. And the acid is the catalyst. That's the same as the hydrate. Now, let's look at the arrow pushing mechanism. First step is the same protonation. Protonation will activate this carbon. So this carbon will be more electrophilic. Then this time is not water, but the alcohol. The methanol here example will attack this carbon using this oxygen and then push the pi electron to the oxygen to neutralize the positive charge. And then that intermediate is shown here. You can see this is from this alcohol and uh, oxygen is a positive charge. Next step is the proton transfer. Basically, this nucleophilic oxygen will take this proton and then push the sigma bond the electron back to the oxygen here to neutralize this positive charge. And then after this proton transfer, you will form a better leaving group. It was a hydroxyl group, now it's water. A better leaving group will be kicked off by this oxygen here. So the lone pair on the oxygen push back to form the pi bond, kick off this water as a leaving group. That's actually the byproduct I didn't draw here. And that's why this reaction uh, will have another yeah byproduct, water. Now, the elimination give you this a, another positive charged intermediate. Again, this carbon here is more electrophilic than neutral uh, compound. So the, the other molecule of the methanol will attack this carbon. The oxygen has a long pair approach to this carbon, push the pi electron to the oxygen. And then that nucleophilic addition will give you this intermediate. And you can see 
this is from this another molecule of methanol and the next the last step is just to depronate this proton the base can depronate this proton take the proton and push the sigma electron to this oxygen and finally uh, can get this neutral acetal okay so this is the uh, very similar with the formation of a hydrate now the hydrolysis of acetal is actually opposite of the formation of acetal so uh, you just need a lot of water and also need acid so the acetal can be converted back to the carbonyl compound I use this uh, product from last slides as a reactant here and uh, you can see the product will be the acetone and the methanol in last slides these two are the reactant now hydrolysis will actually convert this acetal back to the uh, acetone and the methanol look at the arrow pushing mechanism you will see it's basically uh, opposite of the last slides first step is the protonation of uh, one of the oxygen and then convert this methoxy group uh, to a better living group methanol and then this oxygen will kick off this living group by the lone pair of the oxygen push back form a pi bond and then kick off this living group methanol and then that give you this positive charged intermediate again you can see we saw this in last slides this carbon is more electrophilic so the water here is the nucleophile will attack this carbon the lone pair of oxygen uh, will share with this carbon and push the pi electron to this oxygen and then after this nucleophilic addition you'll form this tetrahedral intermediate and next step will be the proton transfer this oxygen which is nucleophilic will depronate the proton and push the sigma electron back to this oxygen again neutralize this positive charge and then that proton transfer will give you this positive charged intermediate again and that's also tetrahedral intermediate and then next step is uh, this oxygen will kick off this methanol as a living group the lone pair of the oxygen push to here form a pi bond kick off this living group elimination give you this protonated ketone and last step apparently you just need to use a base to depronate this proton and give you the neutral product one of the neutral product the other product is given at this step and this step so this is the opposite of a formation of acetal now we talk about uh, acetal is actually a a good protecting group for carbonyl uh, functional group and uh, for example if we have a project you have this beta keto ester and you want reduce this ester to alcohol but keep this ketone in the product um, you might think about the hydride reduce this ester to alcohol for example like a lithium aluminum hydride that can reduce the ester to the alcohol however this hydride will at the same time reduce this ketone to alcohol at the same time so this strategy will not work so um, we need to somehow protect this ketone first before we use hydride to reduce the ester a very common strategy is a cyclic acetal so we can use this diol this is called ethylene glycol or just a called glycol um, this can convert this ketone to a five-membered cyclic acetone, uh, acetal and then we can use the hydride to reduce this ester to this oxide uh, and then we can use acid to
protonate this oxide to alcohol at the same time that acid acidic condition can deprotect another way to say is hydrolyze this cyclic acetal back to this ketone so that is the strategy to do this and then we can look at the arrow pushing mechanism of this whole process the first step is this protection so the first step in this protection uh, is the protonation the oxygen here will attack this proton to form uh, activated uh, ketone and then this carbon now it's more electrophilic and then the glycol will use one of oxygen attack this carbon and then break this pi bond and uh, neutralize this positive charge of this oxygen and then we'll form this intermediate here so from this intermediate uh, this oxygen will depronate this proton and push the sigma bond electron to this oxygen and then this is the proton transfer actually and then the intermediate will have a better living group that is water here so this oxygen then can kick off this living group the lone pair push here to form a pi bond and kick off this water now that's elimination and to give you this protonated no i'm sorry it's actually the positive charged uh, intermediate and then again this carbon is the good nucleophile uh, sorry is a much better electrophile and then you can have another oxygen here which is a nucleophilic attack this electrophile push the pi electron to this oxide and then that give you the intermediate with the cyclic uh, five membered intermediate and now this proton will be depronated by base and uh, neutralize this positive charge by this sigma electrons so this deprotonation give you this intermediate which is the first step in this step we actually convert this ketone to cyclic acetal in this way we protect this ketone because this cyclic acetal will not react with the next steps hydride so the next step we'll see in the next slides now we'll talk about this next two steps mechanism here we already have this protected uh, intermediate the ketone is actually now converted to cyclic acetal hydride can react with ester just uh, by addition here push the pi electron to the oxygen to form this oxide intermediate and then we will kick off this living group the methoxide as a living group to form this intermediate which is aldehyde and this aldehyde will react with hydride again the hydride can attack this carbon which is electrophilic and then same way push the pi electron to the oxygen to form the oxide here and this oxide is this intermediate last step is the actual protonation of this oxide and hydro, hydro, hydrolysis of this cyclic acetal so let's do the pro, protonation of this oxide first to form this alcohol and then protonation of this oxygen to form this positive charged intermediate and then we will have this oxygen kick off this better living group here so the electron push back to form a pi bond break this carbon oxygen bond here and then that's form this positive charged intermediate and then this carbon actually is a much better electrophile and water here will be the nucleophile water will attack this carbon 
the long pair on the oxygen will approach to here and then break the pi electron, uh, pi bond, and push the pi electron to this oxygen to neutralize this positive charge. And then this is the intermediate formed. That's another tetrahedral intermediate. And then next step is another proton transfer. This oxygen will take this proton and then push the sigma electron back to this oxygen, neutralize this positive charge. After this proton transfer, uh, we will form another good leaving group here. This is actually the glyco. This is the one of the byproduct. And then this oxygen here will use the lone pair, push back to form a pi bond and break this carbon oxygen bond, kick off this leaving group basically to form this protonated ketone here, actually. So last step, we just need to use the base to deprotonate this proton, push the sigma electron back to neutralize this positive charge to get this neutral product. So this is the final product. Now, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know and uh, good luck.